Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we are gonna be I'm gonna be showing you guys how um JavaScript is super easy with calculation and like addition, multiplication, stuff like I should like I said in the last video. Also I'm gonna teach you guys about strings in JavaScript. So let's get into the video. Okay guys, as you can see here, we have we have simple, I don't really want to go in too long into calculation because it's very easy to learn. I really want to focus on strings now, but I'm just showing you guys. So you can write ver like seconds in a minute. And then in this, it's, same, it's the same thing we learned last time. It's basically just a variable equals 60. And yeah, you can just time it. It's super easy with math. So you can do like in this example right here, ver a equals five. And then if you do write that code and you do 25, 28 times A, it will equal 140 because it already knows that this is 5. You're timing it by 5. Okay, so now we're going to move on to strings. Okay, guys, so now we're going to move on to strings. So you just want to exit out of this. So option command. You don't have to do this, but yeah, just press option command and then J. You want to press option command command at the same time and then j and then option command j again and then we we'll open a new console up so basically strings are super and i mean they're super easy to open up so what you want to do is basically you want to write we we're gonna make a simple variable right now we're gonna say yeah let's say let's call this my super super string well yeah let's name it that and then to open up a string you want to press you want to double you want to press shift and then press the equation mark equation equ equation mark no a quotient mark sorry a quotient mark like that it looks exactly like this i don't know how to pronounce it but it's a cool it's a cool wait let's see if it'll tell us this no Okay, so yeah, you just have to open that and then you can type anything you want, like something, some stuff are super. And then to close a string, you just have to type, you just have to, you have to do the same thing. And that's how you basically create a string and you close a string. That's basically how you do it. And then you always end it off like that. That's uh, basically how you guys open a string. And yeah. You can also add variables to strings. They're very easy. I um, This is technically what we did right here. I want to show you guys a few more examples. Okay, guys. So what you want to write now is basically a very simple thing. What you want to write is... This is basically adding a string to a variable. So... What you want to type now is my, yeah, you just want to type my, you, you can make, you can name this variable, whatever. I don't really care, but yeah, my houses. So now we're going to say my house is equals five or you can put whatever number. I don't care. You can put whatever number. So now we're going to put my houses, my houses right here. And normally, if you just press enter, it will equal five. But since we're adding strings into this, we want to put, we want to, we don't want just to press enter. We want to do this. A quotient mark, a quotient mark. Yeah, I, I don't know what it's called. Sorry, but yeah. And then we can just type, this is my house. We can basically just, this is my house. And then as we end off, <coughs> sorry, I just have a bad throat today. And what is this? What is that? What is that? What is that? Okay, so basically what you just want to type is what you want. We want to end off the string. So basically you just press this and that's how you end it off. And now it should call. Yeah, this is my house. It should um, yeah, that's basically variables and strings. 
And yeah, so in today's video, I told you guys how to open up a variable, how to open up a variable, and how to add them with strings. So yeah, basically what you do, variable my houses equals five, and then you can do my houses equals, and then you can make the string, and then my houses become into a variable where you equal. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and yeah, subscribe to the channel, like, and we'll see you guys in the next tutorial.